Okay, I like to schedule a call or meeting uh, with the client ahead. So you don't want your client, they're so stressed out. It's a very stressful time and mediation is a big deal. And it might be their last, you know, who robbed their case. So you need to prepare them for mediation and have a meeting, whether it's on the phone or in person, to tell them what is mediation. They, unless they've been in a, another context, a business context or another family law matter, they're not even gonna know what it is. So you need to educate them the very basics and calm them down and tell them, you know, that we're going to have our offer, we're solid, we understand, we can kick the mediator out anytime during the day and talk privately and also help them to start opening their mind to settlement. That they don't want to just be rigid in the sand with it's their way or that's the only way. Because a lot of them feel that way and, and they're almost protecting themselves by feeling that way. That I have to stand my ground on this or I'm going to be run over. So we can assure them we're not going to let them get run over, but they're going to have to be more flexible because if both of them came in, that was their only position. We'll never settle. And there's often a lot of settlement ground that would be acceptable to your client and to the other side between their two rigid positions if they just allow us to explore that. So we have to start preparing the client for that mentally, for going through this exercise. And information puts people at ease. So if they just understand how it's going to work and they can communicate their fears and you can tell them, no, that's not going to happen, or yes, you do need to be worried about that, whatever. Um, information empowers people. So you definitely want to have time for that. I think sometimes when we get busy, we think, oh, there's going to be all this dead time. I'll just explain it to them while we're there. Well, then. They're already going to not sleep the night before well, then they're really not going to sleep the night before. So I would dedicate a little bit of time ahead to get them ready for that mediation session. And simple things that we have in here, reminders that you can assign to your staff is email directions to the mediator's office or wherever the mediation is going to be to the client. It helps if they know how to get there. And to the lawyer. <laughs> helps if I know how to get there. Um, and email the client in advance. We have a little action reminder here that they need to pay the mediator because sometimes that isn't communicated to the client. They don't show up with a check. You don't have a check and now the mediator doesn't know what to do. So whatever the, that, that mediator's uh, fees or requirements are, some of them require the lawyer to pay and then the, the client needs to pay you so you can pay the mediator. Some require the client to pay, but they all require that they be paid. <laughs> so you want to be clear about that in advance. Then we have in the template, once mediation is complete. So somebody needs to file the mediated settlement agreement. And now with e-filing and fax filing, everything is so easy to file, but you don't want to forget to do it because it's going to be more binding once it's filed. So you definitely want to make sure that that gets filed and this is just an easy way to assign that. And then you want to make sure that your staff tells the court that we have settled and removes the trial setting. It would seem that when they got your settlement agreement that that would cue the court that you were not coming to trial. But it doesn't. It doesn't work that way. They're not necessarily aware. They're not reviewing every piece of paper, of course, that comes in. So they just really appreciate it as a courtesy if you send an email to the coordinator and say, hey, we've settled our case. We don't need that trial date so that we can keep our courts productive and they can do something else that day. And then provide your client and opposing counsel with a file mark copy of the MSA. So if you're the one filing it, when you get your file mark back, this is just an easy, simple reminder of that. So with all of these tips and other tips that you can add to your template, we have the mediation template.